Hello and welcome to New Science's weekly video roundup. My name's Sean O'Neill and I'll be taking you through our week's favourite videos. First off, an eerie tale of parasitic wasps and the zombie caterpillars they create. Sandrine Kirstenmon takes up the story. This caterpillar is peacefully sitting on a leaf. When a beetle approaches it and starts crawling on its body, it doesn't appear to mind. But if a caterpillar was previously infected by a parasitic wasp, its behaviour can change drastically. A wasp can insert up to 80 of its eggs into a caterpillar, and when the larvae are fully grown, they emerge through the caterpillar's skin to spin their cocoons. Here you can see a parasitized caterpillar protecting the wasp cocoons. It thrashes around and violently pushes a beetle away when it tries to approach them. A team of Dutch and Brazilian researchers found that when the wasps were guarded by a caterpillar, it halved the number of predators that approached them. They still don't know exactly how the change in behavior comes about, but they do know that the caterpillar doesn't benefit from the situation. As soon as the wasps become adults, it will die. Now, the phrase silent but deadly could raise a number of possibilities in your mind, from a carbon monoxide link to a band of ninjas, but chances are you're not thinking about cars. Tom Simonite reports on two Stanford University students who are giving hybrid vehicles a noise injection. Electric and hybrid cars might be better for the planet than conventional ones, but they are accused of being more dangerous to pedestrians. Their almost silent electric engines just don't warn people they are coming. Organisations representing blind people want laws to force such cars to make more audible sounds, and two students from Stanford University think their prototype could do the job. So the speakers are basically here, behind this uh, plastic. The rear speakers are here, so the blind community and other communities that have recognized this as a problem uh, think that this is a great po potential solution. So right now the vehicle is on and it's completely quiet. If I put it in drive, the front speakers are on, as you can hear. It's less uh, audible to the driver than combustion engines because it's a very projected source, but they can kind of tell it's there. We want this, the sound to be projected in the direction of the, of the car's movement. So, for example, if I'm turning left, the left speakers are amplified while the right side speaker is attenuated. Ever got a good idea, uh, a great idea, okay. and I got the skills to build the box and actually make it happen and yeah, we make a perfect pair. We finish with a particularly slippery customer, the carnivorous pitcher plant. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us how moisture plays a crucial role in dooming its hapless prey. A Venus flytrap plant can snap its jaws and trap an insect in a fraction of a second. Pitcher plants are also carnivorous, but they don't use a mechanism that's quite as dramatic. As their name implies, they're shaped like pitchers, which are filled with a fluid that can digest insects. Just inside the rim of its mouth, nectar-producing glands lure insects to their doom. But how exactly do the insects get inside the pitcher? Past studies have suggested that a waxy layer on the inner wall causes them to slip inside. But not all species of the plant contain this waxy coating. Researchers from the University of Cambridge observed non-waxy pitcher plants in northwest Borneo. On a dry day, it was hard to witness an ant being captured, as most of them wandered onto the plant's rim and then walked off again. But when they returned after a heavy rainfall, they found that the ants were a lot less lucky. If an ant ventured onto the plant's rim, it would inevitably slip inside. There was also a sharp increase in the number of ants floating inside the pitcher. The researchers found that water forms a thin film as it drips onto the pitcher plant's rim. Since the rim is present in all species, they think that this is their main trapping mechanism. The waxy walls are also useful, but only to help the plants grab a snack on a dry day. That's all for this week, but remember there are plenty more science and technology stories on our website, newscientist.com. For example, how babies with two mothers could be saved from dreadful diseases, and why China's earthquake could yet lead to a vast, devastating flood. See you next time.